if you guys remember exactly what I did, AJ, last class period, is we grouped, exactly. We grouped the variables. Um, we grouped them, correct. We grouped them, just like we did over here, and then we had to complete the square. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group the 9x squared plus 54x plus 16y squared minus 32y. And then I'm going to put the 47 on the other side. Okay. Now, remember, we cannot complete the square. We need to complete the square twice for the x variable and the y variable. We can't complete the square, though, when there's a number in front. I don't know how many times I need to say this. So please remember, you've got to factor out the 9 in between the x's and the 16 between the y's. When factoring out the 9, I now obtain a x squared um, plus 6x plus, uh, let's change that. Plus, when I factor out a 16, I'm left with a y squared minus 2y equals 47. Sorry? Does everybody see what I have done? I have not done anything to the equation. All I have done, or I mean, I haven't changed any values. All I have simply done is put a 27 over there, rearrange them, and factor out two separate numbers there. Huh? Yeah, 47. What did I say? 57? 27. 27. All right, so now for each one of these, we need to complete the square. So we're going to complete the square twice. 6 divided by 2 squared equals 9. Negative 2 divided by 2 squared equals 1. So now we're going to take these values, add it not only inside my parentheses, but to the other side, right? So we have 9 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 16 times y squared minus 2y plus, plus 1 equals 47. And then we're going to add 9. And that 9, though, is also being multiplied by 9. And then we have a 16. Add the 1. And that 1 is also being multiplied by 16. Whatever you do on the left side, you have to do on the right side. So if I add a 9 on the left side, I have to add a 9 on the right side. Because look at this 9 is actually, I didn't really add 9. I added a 9, but look what's outside the parentheses. If you apply distributive property, that's being multiplied, right? So it's in reality, you added 9, but that 9 is being multiplied by 9. So you, in reality, added 81. Does that make sense? So now we go ahead and divide this, factor this out. So 9 equals x plus 3 squared plus 16 times y minus 1 squared. Um, anybody work that one out? I don't want to do all 47 plus 81 plus 16, 144. Okay. Now remember, though, we're looking for the equation. So therefore, we need to set this equal to um, 1. So to do that, I'm going to divide by 144 on both sides. Remember, just like distributive property, guys, if you have an expression separated by addition and you're dividing by a number, you have to divide both of those by 144. So now we just want to reduce 9 over 144. So I just do 9 divided by 144, reduce that. And that gives me 1 over 16. And then so 16 is obviously going to uh, divide into there 9 times. So therefore, this gets reduced. So now I have x plus 3 squared over 16 um, plus y minus 1 squared over 9 equals 1. Does everybody see how I wrote that, what I did there? Because I'm not done yet. Because I believe it also asked you to find the, cent find the vertices, foci, um, eccentricity we haven't talked about yet. So just that. Oh, we did kind of talk about eccentric. I didn't give you a formula, though. Is everybody OK with this before I move on? Everybody's OK? Not OK. So now, the next thing, Romeo, that we need to do is identify all the parts. 
Well, remember, guys, if you're just looking back at the formula, before you go anywhere, think about this. Remember, we need to identify which is our A, which is our B. Remember, for an ellipse, A is always going to be larger than B. So our A squared in this case is which number, the 16 or the 9? 16. So let's find a and b first. a squared equals 16, so therefore a equals 4. b squared equals 9, so b equals 3. Can we easily find c? Yeah. c equals the square root of 16 minus 9, which c equals the square root of 7. OK? Um, and then the other thing is, oh, so again, since my a is under x, since my a is under the x, is this a horizontal major axis or a vertical major axis? Horizontal. So I would write that down too. All right, so now I wrote down all this information. This helps me go because now I can visualize. If I find the center, if I have a horizontal major axis, what lies on the major axis? the center, the vertices, right? So all I need to do is go left and right from the center. Does that make sense? So therefore, I'm going to be adding and subtracting to the x-coordinate or the y-coordinate if I want to go left or right. X-coordinate. Um, find the vertices. And, but for the co-vertices, though, the co-vertices would be in the opposite direction. So that'd be the y-intercept. So the center. Center is the easy one to figure out. That's just hk. So therefore, that's going to be negative 3 comma 1. Does everybody see that? OK. For the foci, again, remember the foci lies on the major axis. So that's just shifting left and right from the, y -ac um, from the center. So I'm just going to add and subtract the distance. What's the distance from the center to my foci? Distance from the center to your foci. It's written right up there. It's c. What was my value of c? Square root of 7. So you can just write it like this. I will accept this as an answer because I don't like decimals. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 7, comma 1. That is an acceptable answer. Because I do not like decimals, and I do not want you, I do not like you approximating your answers. For the vertices, again, that's going to be negative 3 plus or minus the distance from the center to your vertice is what? A. So that's going to be 3 plus or minus 4 comma 1. Now obviously this we can write out, right? So hopefully you guys would see that this one is going to be uh, 1 comma 1 and negative 7 comma 1. And then our covertices, covertices are now, covertices are not left to right. Covertices are up or down. So we have to add and subtract from the um, y coordinate. So that's going to be 3. So that's going to be negative 3 comma 1 plus or minus 3. You don't need to write the plus or minus here for this one. I'm just doing it so you guys see where I'm getting my answers. So that's negative 3 comma 4 and negative 3 comma negative 2. OK? And that's it. Done. Took me eight minutes to teach that. <laughs>